how you talking to me? Watch how you talking to me. Watch how you talking to me. Watch how you talking. Watch how you talking to me. Watch how you talking to me. Watch how you talking to me. Moshi Mosh, what's going on, good people? Nidi Hemmings, today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite anime, which is the Monogatari series, written by Nishio Ishii. It's actually a series of light novels that has been adapted by Shaft. Nishio Ishii is responsible for writing things like Madaka Box, Katana Gatari, Zari Goto, and very recently, Juni Tyson, Zodiac Wars, if you guys had watched that when it was airing. This is such a good series. I think that is very clever, the way that it's constructed, because I might, I might hold this guy in high regard. I think he's a genius. The way the characters interact with one another, right. It's silly, it's funny. There's tons of clever, smart Japanese idioms, puns, and play on words that they get lost in translation. There's no way for you to properly translate this stuff into English because Nishio Ishin has such a mastery of the Japanese language. The characters themselves even have like these funny and punny names. The entire premise of the show is majorly intriguing. It's quite difficult to explain without going into detail because the franchise is very much a read it or watch it for yourself type of narrative. But here I go, doing my best here. The world of Monogatari is filled with supernatural, otherworldly creatures and phenomena. That includes time travel, parallel earths, ghosts, vampires, items from mythology and or folklore, or e and even people who combat and deal with this stuff. You can call them ghostbusters or exorcists of sorts. These oddities or apparitions have several reasons for afflicting the real world and the people in it. Reasoning stemming from intense emotions like prolonged hatred. That can cause a distortion in the world or cause like the person of your hatred to become afflicted with some kind of curse. The very first example in the series is when the main character meets a girl who is weightless. She doesn't weigh anything at all. Aradagi Koyomi is a relatively normal high schooler that has his regular daily life come to an end when he encounters a supernatural being, a powerful one. After the end of this ordeal, he essentially becomes a vampire. And using his very little experience with apparitions, his powers, and his sense of justice, Koyomi attempts to help people with oddities. The story is separated into many story arcs and character arcs. It's not told in chronological order, so try to be aware of that and that's the best i can do without like spoiling any major plot points in my opinion the best part of the show are its characters because the cast is actually superb now i openly admit a lot of the female characters are a bit gimmicky designed for like waifu wars and merchandising but that being said most of them have a lot of depth Araragi Koyomi is a very good lead for the show as I find him to be entertaining and he shows more and more of his true self as the story progresses. I also find him to be like low-key secretly relatable because he's kind of a pervert almost in every sense of the word. But I mean at the end of the day, he's a decent guy who would do anything and everything for his friends and his family. Through the anime is how I imagine most of you guys who are interested will be experiencing the narrative. However, I do suggest you read the light novels. They're very good. They're actually being translated and published into English every, I'll say like five, six months or so. So pick it up if you see it. But Shaft, great studio. They are known for their eccentric artistry and crazy head tilts. They adapted some popular anime such as Nagima, Magica Madoka, even Isekoi. The Monogatari anime is insanely visually pleasing. Lots of poetic imagery. Interesting events are always happening on screen. Nisio's narratives tend to be very dialogue heavy, but at least expect to always be visually entertained, even if nothing of note is happening. But do not take everything you see as literal because a lot of it is symbolic. The series is well directed with magnificent, like cinematography, nice colors, 
it's just like the character models are beautiful. The action is amazing. It's great. It's clean. It's vibrant. Like, dude, as much as I love this series, I have to admit that it's not for everyone. A lot of the dialogue is circular. The conversations are purely for entertainment purposes. And sometimes they don't even go anywhere. That and maybe some of the etchy scenes may kind of turn away viewers and readers. And I get it. But that being said, I definitely think the series is deserving of a fair chance. There's good action, great animation, fantastic characters, clever writing, interesting dialogue, and the premise is good. Just give it a try. Let me know what you think about it when you finish it. Now, before I sign off, I need to, get, I need to give you guys a proper order. I will write it in the description so you guys know which way to watch it because there's several anime that encompass the entire series. So, the watch order is Bake Monogatari, Kizu Monogatari, Nisei Monogatari, Neko Monogatari Kuro, Monogatari Season 2, Hana Monogatari, Suki Monogatari, Owari Monogatari Season 1, Koyomi Monogatari, Owari Monogatari Season 2, and later on this year, we'll be getting Zoku Owari Monogatari. I will provide them in the link so you guys know what to look up and how to watch it. Enjoy. I really love this series. I really think it's good, and I want more people to watch it. If you start watching it and you like it, let me know what you think, because I'll be signing off. And yeah, have a good day, guys.